Seminole Canyon, this is it. Mm. Mm hmm. Now, once again, did I tell y'all about Texas sized things? Satilo, can you imagine seeing your aloe vera plant on your porch grow to be this size? Yes, this is life size, everybody. And see, look at my arm, look at my hand here. But we are now at the Seminole Canyon. So if you want to see something truly Texas size, if you want to really see what looks like God just reached down and touched the earth and picked up a piece of it, just look at this breathtaking view. <laughs> so, honey, children, me glad you honey the day y'all with we. They're going through all this your land in Tejas. And here at Gullah Geechee going on, you know that we like to bring guests in as well. So that you really know that I don't just go all around the world just by myself, you know. So, I have sometimes the opportunity to have folks journey with me. And on this journey, we have two sisters here with me that have been contributing to the meaning of a lot of what you're getting the chance to see today. So I wanted to make sure that you got to see them the way I get to see them. So I want to welcome Sister Elisa Riso and also our Minister of Information for the Gullah Geechee Nation, Elder Carly Town, to Gullah Geechee Gwine on. Yeah, How are the children so do today? I'm going to do fine. Oh, mm -hmm. Se pasa. Muy bien, muy bien, gracias. Oh, <laughs> see, see. So, it's very interesting to have both of you here because for me, you represent like two pieces mm -hmm. to the same coin, you know, one side and the other side. Especially when we're talking about the Gullah Geechee story here in Texas. Because we are really just a couple miles away and we could walk into Mexico right now. Yes. And so the thing is, here are our people who did just that. Mm -hmm. That came out here, lived in Texas, and then migrated through all of this open land, all of this mountainous area, and went into Mexico. Can you tell us the area that the people that we now call Moscogo mm -hmm. are in? Yeah, the Moscogos um, that in on the side of the Texan border are called the Black Seminoles mm -hmm. um, live in the county of Muskis, Coahuila, mm -hmm. in a little um, place called um, Nacimiento, which is a little mm -hmm. village. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I've seen on maps mm -hmm. Nacimiento de los Negros. Mm -hmm. You know, so as if to let you know that is the mm -hmm. town mm -hmm. of the blacks, mm -hmm. right? And so there's also another nacimiento, mm -hmm. right? Correct. So what does nacimiento mm -hmm. actually mean in Spanish? Well, nacimiento is called, uh, it means uh, birthplace. Birthplace. But uh, the name of the uh, of this uh, nacimiento, it's related to the birthplace of a river. Uh-huh. Or it's, it's actually a little creek. Creek, uh-huh. That... Uh -huh. that uh, passes through that little village is now you know almost kind dry. dried out yeah so they, they're mm -hmm. suffering a, a, a drought right now mm -hmm. in the you know their their uh, economy is based on agriculture, agriculture. Mm -hmm. uh, however right now they're having a, you know, a hard for, time with for, that. for about 10 years now they have yes. been having a drought yeah in and the on area. the other side of nacimiento in front of nacimiento de los negros mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. um, uh, initially called and uh, there is another village called Nacimiento de los Indios, ah, where the Kickapoos reside. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people may have never heard of the Kickapoos, mm -hmm. but again, the Kickapoos mm -hmm. came westward mm -hmm. as well, right, mm -hmm. from Florida mm -hmm. region, and they were another one of the indigenous American groups that originally occupied La Florida, mm -hmm. correct? Correct. Yes, and so it's really interesting mm -hmm. because even here at the Seminole Canyon mm -hmm. State Park, we saw an image there. Mm -hmm about the Kickapoos mm -hmm. and their migration into mm -hmm. Mexico. Mm -hmm. But then I said to you, but 
it's interesting that's the only group they're mentioning mm -hmm. and the park is named Seminole where's mm -hmm. the mention of the yeah. Seminole mm -hmm. so did you find it interesting either mm -hmm. of you yeah you know in this uh, in this museum that we just visited right. here in um, in the Seminole Park and also on the other side of the border right. in the uh, Museum of the Desert mm -hmm. in Coahuila in Saltillo Coahuila mm -hmm. and in in the Museo del Noreste mm -hmm. in Monterrey Mexico you see this uh, Mm, echoes of uh, migrations, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but the more you move south, right. the more silenced it the, the, the appearances of these groups appear. So mm -hmm. by the time you, you read about them in Mexico, you don't see, perhaps you see the name of the Seminoles, perhaps you see the name of the of the Kikapoos, oh, right. you never see the name of the Muscogos. Oh, mm -hmm. anywhere. And so wow. there, there are inconsistencies in the and yeah. yes, and you know, it's kind of what you say of the town is kind of similar mm -hmm. when people start coming closer mm -hmm. and closer to our coastline. Like, mm -hmm. people will see documentaries mm -hmm. yes. or they'll mm -hmm. read someone's thesis mm -hmm. paper that's a book mm -hmm. and they'll read about Gullah, Geechee. Mm -hmm. But then, as they get closer mm -hmm. to our area, you have tourist magazines mm -hmm. that'll suddenly the people disappear and a basket mm -hmm. appears, mm -hmm. or you know, sure. something like this, right? Mm -hmm. Don't you? I, see I the agree same with thing? that from heart. The end. And, and, I, and I see the same dynamics happening as we traveled here. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, I said, wow, this is the same, like history may repeat itself. Mm -hmm. If we don't do what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I really see the same patterns, but I think that we mm -hmm. will be changing those patterns. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when you say, if we don't do what we're doing, elaborate more on that. Okay, what we're doing right now is traveling through Texas mm -hmm. and, and finding those, the Kickapoos, mm -hmm. and finding the Seminoles, mm -hmm. and speaking directly to the people. Exactly. And a lot of times that hadn't happened. Mm -hmm. Right. Somebody else was telling their story. Exactly. And so that's what I know we all we need to do that and we're doing it. Mm -hmm. And all I can say I'm about to jump out my clothes because <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I can understand. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. And it's so interesting because even when you say jumping out of your clothes, it's better for your spirit to be that excited about this reconnection of our people mm -hmm. across the mm -hmm. borders, across the rivers, across the creeks, and for your spirit to want to jump out than to have someone actually strip you yes. of who you are. Yes, and definitely. we know that with a lot of the migration of our people this way, they were stripped yes. of their culture and mm -hmm. who they are and even their levels of creativity mm -hmm. and their practices got infused with mm -hmm. other things. Mm -hmm. And so it's really interesting to just sit here in the open space mm -hmm. and you can just feel it. It's like you can feel the ancestors speaking to you and you know they're like, we're glad you're here. Yes. You know, so they're excited too. You know, and all day we've been hearing the birds just yes. chirping. It's as if they're just singing to welcome right. us. You know, so it's as if I could just hear an evening that they had when everybody just sat around a fire and sang the songs yes. and still held on to the traditions. And they knew that even in the midst of all this hardship, a better day was going to come. Yes. And I really feel like this is a better day yes, because is. we're mm -hmm. able to sit together and bring that connection mm -hmm. to reality. Mm -hmm. yes. It's not a book. It's not a documentary. Yes. Right. It's not a picture just on the wall of an interpretive center. We're here. Right. And as we always say, we the Benya and we in the Gwai no way. Right. And right. so, this your chilla, the what going on, down ya in Tejas, or should I say up ya in Tejas, Pondisha Seminole Canyon. And with a canyon, you know you have those high places and you have those low places. But you know what? It can all be simple to go through, go to, when God brings you up and down, because he never leaves you down, he always brings you back up. And honey chillin, that'll work wine on. So me tank. These young guys were stopping by a little while, but you know one thing? We want to have to be like the road runner we see the while ago yes. mm -hmm. and get on down the yes. road again yes. and see who else we can meet upon this journey. Yes. Mm -hmm.